Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be. Welcome back to my channel, my loverlies. If you've never been here before, thank you so much for clicking on my video. I am so happy you found me. I do so hope that you will like and subscribe before you leave. Become part of the mama family. Mom's got your back, at least when makeup's concerned, and definitely when that makeup is cheap. Today is makeup I would repurchase if I lost everything. The, 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 the very fact, the very thought of losing my entire collection literally gives me heart palpitations. Like it's something I never, ever, ever want to think about. But uh, it's a video that's been going around on YouTube. So I, I figured I would hop on the train. Uh, and it was actually really interesting to think about it because things that I thought for sure I would pick, I didn't. Uh, so I am very excited to share uh, all of my uh, must-haves, I guess. They're things I definitely need to have in my collection. Uh, and I, I'm hoping that I'll surprise you just a little bit. Uh, if you've never been here before, I hope that you have just a little while to sit back, relax. I hope that you will mash that thumbs up and subscribe. We do lots of fun content here. I make four videos every single week. Uh, I post every single day on TikTok, uh, Facebook, Instagram, all that good stuff. Uh, again, all my socials will be in the description box below, along with everything that I'm going to talk about in today's video. And without too much more talking, let's just dive right into the, uh, into the video. If you guys are wondering what this beautifulness on my face is right now, uh, I did do a TikTok on today's look. I used the uh, the Profusion Metachrome palette. Y'all, this thing is actually so surprising. It is so versatile. Uh, it doesn't really look like much. I'm going to be honest. It doesn't really look like much uh, when you look at it for the first time. But once you dive into it and really like get into the into the shades there, it is so versatile. Uh, you've got actually a ton of really gorgeous kind of neutral shades, uh, lots of really yummy warm oranges and reds. Uh, these uh, chromatic shades around the center are stunning. This one in particular, this like greeny gold is absolutely stunning. I cannot get over it. It's so, so beautiful and it's relatively affordable uh and this one in the center is just such a pretty topper it just goes it just goes over everything i'm gonna put this green shade down first just a straight green and then i'm gonna take a little bit of that center shade over top and it just is the prettiest topper shade like ever uh i have this shade literally all over uh, my lid and it just gives such a really pretty iridescent kind of fairy light vibe uh, to anything you put it on top of. It's such a pretty palette. Uh, it's $25 I think is how much this palette was. $25 is really expensive for a Profusion palette and there definitely are better uh, palettes out there for that price but this is just really really pretty and I'm very very happy that I bought it. So moving on to the shades that I absolutely cannot live without. Uh, so I want to start in the order that I would do my face, right? So the first thing I always do is my brows. And for me, brows are super, super important. They frame the entire face. They're just like, it's the first thing you see when you look at the face. Uh, so they're really important to me. And the brow pencil that I absolutely cannot live without is the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. Now this brow pencil goes for $11.00. So it's not the most affordable available at the drugstore, but it is really good. They also It also lasts me for quite a long while. Uh, you just need a little bit of it and it like combs through the brows really, really beautifully. It gives you super precise uh, little lines. I use this to define my brow. So I'll take this and I'll underline it uh, and then comb that through. This is beautiful. Uh, I like this in the shade Cool Ash Brown. It is a perfect shade match for me. I cannot live without this thing. Uh, and then the next thing for my brows is something that I can never live without. This is the NYX Brow Pen. And this goes for $12. Again, it's a little bit expensive. Everything's so expensive at the drugstore. Everything's so expensive everywhere. Uh, but it's $12. And this is just really good. Uh, this is really great for filling in sparse areas. Uh, it's really great, especially towards the front of the brow, uh, to create really lifelike uh, brow hairs. This is perfect. Uh, it does, there's a little bit of a learning curve where this is concerned. You have to kind of figure out what kind of pressure you like to use, things like that. But once you get the hang of it, you will realize that you just, you won't be able to live without it either. It is so, so good. And then last but not least, my brow glue. Now this one, there was a, uh, this one was a little bit difficult. Uh, 
because I am a brow glue stand. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see or not, but I'm literally almost out of this one. This is so, so good. Uh, and again, I've been using it in my brows for, I want to say a year and a half, two years. Uh, I use it almost every single day, but I recently picked up the e.l.f. brow lift and this is so, so good too. So uh, I do think that the NYX Brow Glue is a stiffer hold. Uh, you put this stuff in your brows the minute and it dries down, your brows are not moving. But it does give your brows a little bit of a crunchy kind of feeling to, uh, to it. And if you're not into that crunchy kind of super stiff brow, I definitely suggest the e.l.f. Brow Lift. Uh, this is super easy to work with at, uh, as well. I thought this was going to be more like a brow soap, but it is not. It is that it, literally all it is, is just a very stiff, very thick brow gel. All you do is you take your brow gel or the brow lift and you just kind of your uh, spoolie in there and just kind of comb it through the brows uh, and it just kind of sets them. Uh, it does dry down, but I don't think it freezes them in place quite like the brow glue does. But if you like a more touchable brow, I think this would definitely be a really, really good alternative. But yeah, I'm going to pick the brow glue. The brow glue goes for $9 uh, and I'm not, I'm not exactly sure how much this goes for. I think it's around six or eight. So the e.l.f. is going to be a little bit more affordable. But if you like to like set your brows down and don't want them to move, brow glue all day. Next, we move on to eyeshadow primer. And this one was so super easy. I did not even have to think about this one. Uh, my Believe Beauty. This is my Believe Beauty eyeshadow primer. Pick this up at Dollar General. It's $4.50. It's fantastic. They're get, you get a butt ton of product in here. The tiniest amount goes the longest way. Uh, it goes on. It doesn't really have any pigment to it, uh, but there is just enough to really kind of even out uh, and kind of dull down any redness or veins, things like that. Uh, it just gives you a little teeny tiny bit of pigment, but what it really does is it's like, it's like eyelid glue. Uh, and I know that sounds terrible, but it goes on the eyelid and it stays tacky. It really grips your eyeshadow to your eyelids and it keeps it vibrant and beautiful all day long. This is spectacular. And at $4.50, you cannot beat the price. So, so good. This is one of those things that I will never be without. And now we're going to move on to face products. And I thought these categories were going to be just a little bit more difficult uh, than they actually were. But once I got to going through uh, everything and thought about things that A, lasted a really long time on the face, came with a good amount of product, uh, things that were incredibly affordable. Because if I lost my entire collection tomorrow, that would mean that I would have to repurchase all of these things at the same time. And that's like hundreds of dollars worth if, you know, if you, it's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. Uh, so I wanted to go for things that were cost effective, uh, but you got uh, really long wear out of them, easy to use, all of that good stuff. Uh, so for a primer, this is what I picked. And this is the Maybelline 4-in-1 Perfector. I have this in the shade 1. This is very similar to the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter, the uh, Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Hollywood Filter, basically the same thing. But the reason I picked this one over the e.l.f. one, because I really enjoy that one as well. But I really like this one because uh, this just goes on. There's no really coverage to it. It's almost undetectable on the skin. But it brings such a luminosity and such a glow to the skin. Uh, there's no big glitter particles. It's just a really beautiful kind of very, very natural sheen on the skin that does show through makeup. But I really like the applicator of this uh, as well. I'm not a big fan of the e.l.f. Uh, doe foot applicator. I just, I don't know. I think this is easier. Uh, it's easier to get around my brows. It's easier to just kind of like shh, all over my face and I'm done. I don't have to keep, keep dipping into the bottle. And it's just easier to use. On top of that, this is beautiful to wear on a no makeup makeup day. This has the tiniest amount of coverage to it. So you can kind of put it all over your face. It kind of slightly evens everything out. It gives you a really beautiful, fresh, luminous glow. Uh, and it's just so lightweight on the skin as well. I really, really enjoy this. And uh, if you can get this in a deeper color, it makes a really gorgeous uh, luminous bronzer as well. So it's a multitasker. On top of that, it gives you the luminosity, but it also is super moisturizing on the skin as well. Uh, so it's kind of a twofer. twofer. Uh, it's lumin luminizing and moisturizing at the same time. 
and I love that. A lot of times I will use a couple of different primers and I'll go in with something to, uh, you know, brighten my face up. I'll go in with something to moisturize and I'll go in with something uh, to kind of fill my pores. And though this does not fill the pores, it does pretty much everything else and it's super, super affordable. Uh, the Maybelline 4-in-1 Perfector goes for $12.99. The e.l.f. one I think goes for $18.00. 16 or $18. So this one is a little bit more affordable and it does basically the same thing. For foundation, this one I pretty much knew uh, this was what I was going to go for. This is the L'Oreal True Match Nude Serum Foundation. This goes for how much does this go for? $15.99. So $16 foundation. It is definitely a bit pricey for a drugstore foundation, but I have this in the shade uh, 1 slash 2.5 rosy, rosy light. This is a perfect, it's what I'm wearing. I'm wearing all of this stuff on my face today. It's just a beautiful foundation. It's a beautiful, very long wearing, very natural looking kind of foundation. I have super, super dry skin. And a lot of times, even when a foundation goes on and it looks really beautiful upon initial application, a lot of times my skin just sucks the life out of everything. And I end up looking crusty, dusty, and cakey uh, in a matter of hours. But this just always wears so beautifully. I've had my makeup on. I want to say I've had my makeup on for, what time is it now? It is 9.42, so I have my makeup on, I want to say seven hours uh, at this point, and I think it still looks flawless. Uh, I'm getting just a little bit of creasing going on around my mouth and maybe under my eyes just a little bit, but for the most part, this wears fantastically. I have never had a single problem with this foundation, and I can wear it in multiple shades. Uh, so I can wear the 1 uh, slash 2.5. I can wear the 3 to 4. Because it's such a beautiful kind of sheer coverage, uh, there's really a lot of leeway there. And I think the undertones are really, really nice. It's just a fantastic foundation. And again, it's going to last you absolutely forever because a little bit goes a long way. Uh, I mean, it's not a heavy full coverage kind of foundation, but it just evens out the skin. It makes you look flawless and it just it just wears forever such a good one. For contour, I have a couple of different options. Contour is really, really important to me. Uh, contour especially is something that I never skip because I have a very round face and I depend on contour to give me just a little bit of shape to my face. So I have two different options. The first of which is the Wet n Wild Contour Stick. Now, I think this is more of a cream bronzer than it is a contour. I have this in the shade Call Me Maple, but also with the shade Where's Walnut is really, really good as well. Where's Walnut is just a little bit deeper, but y'all, this goes on and it just is so easy easy. It is super easy to just kind of swipe on and blend out. It blends out beautifully with both a brush and a sponge. It goes on and it just gives you, it gives, brings so much life, so much naturally sun-kissed warmth to the face. It's absolutely stunning. So if you're like looking for a really gorgeous, super easy, warm cream bronzer, this is stunning. Uh, and I think this only goes for like five bucks. This is... Wet n Wild Contour Stick is $4.49, so you can't beat it. Super, super affordable. Now, for a cream contour, like a cool toned contour, y'all, I cannot live without this thing. This is the uh, the Creme Shop Cream Contour Palette. Uh, you can tell mine is very, very loved. Uh, this is in the shade Light, but I also have one in the shade Medium. I get these off of Amazon. I think they're like $8.99. $7.99. Yeah, $7.99 on Amazon. Uh, super, super affordable drugstore pricing. You get three different shades in here. You have a light, medium, and dark. Uh, and the reason I love this so much is because they're actually cool toned shades. Uh, they actually go on and they mimic a shadow on the face. You see how beautifully cool toned that is. On top of that, they're incredibly pigmented, but they sheer out beautifully. So it's really hard to kind of mess up. Uh, again, blend out beautifully with both a sponge and a brush. I prefer to blend this out with a brush just because it doesn't absorb the product. Uh, and it just always looks so, so pretty. It ends up looking so natural on the skin as well. Uh, and real, true, cool-toned contours, contours are really difficult to find at the drugstore. Uh, and this one is just absolutely perfect. When I found it, I raved about it. Uh, and this is another one of those products that I use almost every single time I do my makeup. I cannot live without this thing. The next thing, ooh, okay, so let's talk about some powders real quick. So uh, again, the 
like setting powder was another one that I really, really struggled with. Uh, and I do have two different options. And the reason I have both of these options is because I think they're both equally as stunning. So the first is the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Powder. Now, uh, this is a powder foundation. It adds coverage. It is incredibly smoothing. It kind of blurs out the pores. This is absolutely just gorgeous. Uh, I really like to use this with a powder puff and just kind of press it onto the skin. It looks beautiful on the under eyes. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous powder. But, uh, and I think this goes for around uh, 11 or $12 at the drugstore. But if you're looking for a setting powder that is just a setting powder, you don't want to add coverage, you don't want to add tint to your skin, you just want to set down your makeup, but you need something that's good all over the face and under the eyes, I think the Lottie London powder is the way to go. So this is the Lottie London Ready Set Go Powder. Uh, this goes for $7.48 incredibly affordable, uh, even more affordable than the L'Oreal. This is a beautiful, beautiful translucent powder. Uh, it doesn't leave a white cast. This is the one that I'm wearing today. It goes on the under eyes and it looks so beautiful. Uh, it doesn't make my under eyes look heavy or crepey or cakey. Uh, it does have just a little bit of a brightening effect to it, which I appreciate. I really enjoy having a nice bright under eye, but it doesn't, like I said, it doesn't leave a cast on the skin. Uh, it doesn't show up. It doesn't cause flashback or anything like that. It's just a really, really gorgeous powder. You get a great amount of product in here for a really, really great price. Uh, and if you have dry skin, powders are so, so difficult. Finding a good powder is like finding, a, you know, a needle in a haystack sometimes, but this one is so, so good. And I've only had it in my collection for a short while but in that short while it has become indispensable to me it's like again something I definitely couldn't live without uh, so yeah my two very very favorite powders the next what powders I want to talk about are let's talk about a powder bronzer and I bet you guys can guess which one I'm going to talk about uh, but this is my L'Oreal Lumi bronzer and again this one is just absolutely fantastic I love the tone I love the way that it goes onto the skin uh, this again has really great pigmentation but it's very very buildable uh, I have had this bronzer for absolutely forever I've just started to hit pan on it um, it's absolutely gorgeous super finely milled and really velvety kind of texture there is the lightest, tiniest little bit of luminosity there. So it goes on the skin and it looks incredibly lifelike. It doesn't just go on and kind of look like you've put powder on your skin. It somehow melts into the foundation and everything else you've got going on to really bring such a believable warmth to the face. I absolutely adore it. On top of that, you get quite a good amount of product in here. Very generous pan size. Uh, this goes for... $14.99. So again, it's it's $15. It's pretty expensive. There are definitely uh, more affordable bronzers that are really, really wonderful. But this is one that I just, I, it's, it's got to be in my collection. It's got to be in my collection. I just love it so, so much. I have never, it's still my favorite bronzer. It just goes on and it does something that no other powder bronzer I've found yet uh, really imitates. It's just a perfect, perfect bronzer. The tone is perfect. It's not too red. It's not too orange. I love it so, so much. $15 again is pretty pricey, but it's worth every cent of it. I promise. Let's talk about ooh, a concealer. So this one was super, super easy for me. So this is the Revlon Skin Awaken Caffeine and Vitamin C concealer. Uh, this is, I actually just opened it for today's video. Uh, I have, uh, I have, I have backups, but I was trying to go through some of my other open concealers before I opened another one. Mm, Y'all, I didn't realize how much I was missing this. Uh, so I opened it and I used it today and it just is, oh, it is my favorite concealer. It was my best of 2022 for a reason. This is so, so good. Uh, it's not super, super expensive either. The Revlon Skin Awake Concealer is $12.98. Again, it's a little bit pricey for a concealer. You have the e.l.f. Camo Concealer that goes for around like five or six bucks, but none of the other concealers in my collection really do exactly what this does. It goes on and it brightens. It's got really great coverage. It never looks dry or cakey or heavy on my under eyes. Uh, it a little bit goes a long way. I also really enjoy the uh, applicator. It's got a sponge tip applicator, but it's actually pretty tiny and precise. So I can really get it up in the corner of my eye and around my nose. The color is perfect. I have this one in the shade 002. So it's a brightening shade. It's a perfect concealer. Uh, Sometimes it can be a little bit difficult to find. Uh, a lot of times it's sold out at my local Walmart. But if you come across this concealer, 
try it out. If you're looking for a concealer, if you're having trouble with creasing, if you're have, having trouble with caking or making like drying out your under eyes, this is such a good one. The caffeine in here also helps to depuff. It really wakes up your under eyes in such a special, special way. I love this. I am so happy to have one open in my collection now because I guarantee I will be using this like there is no tomorrow. It really is my very, very favorite concealer. Moving on to, oh, let's do lip combos. So when it comes to lip combos or lipsticks, lip glosses, uh, lip liners, there are so many options at the drugstore and of course high end, but lip combos, lipsticks, lips liners, uh, things like that. I just don't think you need to spend uh, money on. There are so many really, really great, super dirt cheap options out there that spending $20 on a lip liner is just redonkulous to me. So uh, for lip liner, you guys already know which one I'm going to talk about. This is the NYX Suede Lip Liner. I have this one in the shade Downtown Beauty. It's what I'm wearing today. It's fabulous. It goes with absolutely everything. It is a really gorgeous kind of neutral yeah, it's so good. It's like a neutral deep brown. Uh, I prefer a 90s lip. I really like a dark lip liner with something just a little bit lighter in the center. This is perfect for that. Uh, I have never paired this with a lipstick, uh, liquid lipstick, bullet lipstick. I've never paired this with something and thought, oh, that doesn't look good. It goes with literally everything. It's $4. How much? Yeah, they're, yeah, $4. Uh, on the Ulta website. These go for $4 a piece. Absolutely fantastic price point. Uh, they last for absolutely forever. They're uh, beautifully creamy, but long wearing. Uh, they go on, they glide onto the lips super, super easily. My very, very favorite lip liners on the entire planet. Next, let's talk about lip gloss. Uh, let's talk about lip gloss and lipstick because they're both from the same brand. So Shop Miss A. I cannot recommend Shop Miss A lipsticks and lip glosses to you any any more highly guys these are a dollar a piece so this is the shop miss a it is the so smooth lipstick in the shade bliss it's what i have on today uh the so smooth lipsticks are fantastic they also just came out with the uh the retro lipsticks which are phenomenal as well the shade baby doll is the most perfect wearable red oh like my favorite red lipstick in my entire collection this one is my favorite mauve this is the shade bliss and it's just super creamy, really beautifully long wearing, beautifully pigmented as well. They're ju it's just a perfect your lips but better kind of shade. In my opinion, mauve lipstick goes with everything. When in doubt, go mauve. That's what I always say. And this one is a perfect, perfect mauve shade. It's not too cool, but it's not too warm. Uh, just like the lip liner, they're both incredibly neutral. They work beautifully together. Uh, and this color, like I said, it just seems to go with absolutely everything. So again, that is the, what was it? The So Smooth Lipstick in the shade Bliss. It's a dollar on the Shop Missy website. And for lip gloss, I know that you guys have heard me talk about these lip glosses before, but I will sing their praises until the day that I die. These are the Shop Miss A Diamond Lip Glosses. This is in the shade Pixie. Uh, I also have this on my lips right now. It is, mm, it is the most gorgeous, super dimensional, just frosty, but not like, gl it's glittery, but not too glittery. You can't feel the glitter particles on your lips. It doesn't look like glitter on the lips either. It just goes on and it gives them such a beautiful, juicy kind of look. They're perfect. I enjoy the doe foot applicator. It's a teeny tiny little doe foot, but it's super easy to use and they're a dollar. Y'all, it will last you for absolutely forever. They don't really have a scent or a smell to them. So they're totally neutral and they just go on and it goes with absolutely everything. Again, if I'm, if I'm having to restart my entire collection, I need products that are going to get me the most bang for my buck. Uh, and I need a product that's going to go with everything, right? Because I'm only going to have one. This is a beautiful, beautiful option. If you're not into super glittery kind of lipsticks, maybe, or lip glosses, maybe this wouldn't be for you. But Shop Miss A also has really gorgeous clear lip glosses. They've got a lip gloss for every taste and they're all a dollar and they're all fantastic. They're not sticky. They're not stringy. They feel beautiful and moisturizing on the lips. They're just good. Uh, this shade in particular, Pixie, is one of my very, very favorites. Uh, and I try to be really easy with it because I don't want to uh, dirty it up because it is such a really beautiful kind of frosty, clear white uh color. Uh, I don't want to get, see, I just put a little bit of that on my lip and I kind of tinted uh, my 
a doe foot, but I just, oh, I baby this thing because it's so, so good. And they are still available. I've had this one for, I want to say over a year now. It's still gorgeous. It's going to last you forever. And look what it does to the lips. Like there's no, the proof is in the pudding. Like you can't even, you cannot even tell me that that doesn't look amazing. I love it so, so much. So we're coming to the end. We're coming to the end of this, of this pretty long video. And I tried to stick to just the basics when it came to like repurchasing, right? Because again, it's a lot of money to be spent at one time. But I wanted to give you options that are really going to like, I wanted to make it count. Uh, and for blush, this one, I don't think that I could have picked a better option. So this is probably my very favorite blush palette in all existence. This is the Juvia's Place Saharan Blush Volume 2. And I have the volume one. The volume one, I believe, is meant for much deeper skin tones uh, than I have. But this is volume two, and this is made for, uh, you know, lighter, uh, fairer skin. Oh, but they're so pretty. The thing I love about Juvia's Place is they're not afraid of color, right? They're not afraid to, like, really give you what you're asking for. Uh, and this blush palette is just absolutely everything. Uh, so you can, there is a bronzer-ish kind of shade in here that is really, really beautiful. You've got a purple, a purple tone blush. You've got a pink tone blush. And then you've got, like, a coral terracotta tone blush. I have a mixture of both of these on today. They're stunning. I just love the way that they go onto the cheeks. They look so soft uh, and smoothing. They're just easy to use, beautifully pigmented, but highly blendable. Uh, and then I also have this one on as a little bit of a highlight today. You, oh my gosh. Okay. So I have to swatch. This is the shade Zoba and it is the most beautiful kind of pinky highlight blush topper kind of thing. It is absolutely stunning. It goes on and it gives you a, such a beautiful kind of like light pinky champagne reflect. Uh, it goes on and adds just a little bit of a tint, but it just looks so pretty. It's just really, really pretty. It doesn't emphasize texture. It's not chunky. It's not glittery. It's just a gorgeous, gorgeous palette. Uh, and on top of that, look, oh, look at, I mean, that pink shade is absolutely everything. This orangey coral shade is just to die for. Uh, this goes for, how much does this go for? This goes for $18. $18. But the best thing about these is they're continuously on sale. Juvia's Place is not afraid to slash those prices. And that makes mama very, very happy. Uh, I think I purchased this for $5. So again, if you wait for a sale, you, and nine times out of 10, you're going to find a sale somewhere. Juvia's Place is always on sale and it is worth it. I think it's worth it at full price, but if you can find it on sale, jump on it. This is so, so good. On top of that, you have multiple different options in here. So if you can only buy one blush product, I definitely think this is the way to go. Uh, this purple blush is such a beautiful and interesting shade. It is it is my favorite blush in this entire palette. Uh, just because this tone is just, it's like a, a frosty Merlot kind of plummy color. Absolutely stunning. And it just looks so pretty. Oh, it just looks so pretty on the cheeks. Really, really gorgeous. You get two different blush toppers in here. You have a little bit of a bronzy, sh bronzy shade. It's a fantastic, fantastic option. Uh, when it comes to like powder highlight and uh, like powder contour, this one. This is the one that I would pick all day, every day over every single other thing in my collection. This is the Profusion Highlight and Contour One Palette. This goes for $6. And when I open this, you are gonna see I really, really love this thing. Uh, I'm about to hit pan on this one. I've already hit pan on this one. I'm about to hit pan on this one. I, I can use literally every shade in this palette. Uh, even this one looks really, really beautiful on the eyes. It's a bit deep for me to use on my face, but it is so, so pretty. Super, super reflective, but super... Um, it's very smooth. Uh, there's no big glitter particles. It doesn't look chunky or bunchy on the skin. It's just so super pretty. On top of that, you get a brightening shade, you get a light sculpting shade, and then you get something a little bit deeper and darker. I've been using this one just on the deeper portions of my uh, cheekbone, and it really gives that super shadowy kind of snatched effect. It is absolutely perfect. And for $6, that means it's a dollar a pan. You absolutely cannot beat it. Uh, this really gorgeous pinky champagne uh, highlight is absolutely stunning. Super, super frosty, but again, super smoothing. It just catches the light in such a gorgeous, gorgeous way. 
You cannot beat this. Profusion is one of my very, very favorite drugstore brands. I think they are so cost effective. I think the quality is fantabulous. And this palette in particular is phenomenal. They also have blush palettes uh, in this same format that are $6 a piece. You definitely could go with one of those. I didn't have one of those in my collection to show you, but those are a really fantastic option as well. Uh, if you're not into the Juvia's Place uh, colors or anything like that, uh, Profusion has the six pan form format uh, in both bronzer and blush, and they're fantastic. At $6 a piece, again, super, super cost effective, uh, and the quality is just fantastic. Now, last but not least, I couldn't leave out eyeshadow palettes because uh, I'm an eyeshadow fanatic, and of course, I definitely would have to buy uh, some kind of eyeshadow. So, so for when it comes to uh, like a neutral palette, this one all day, every day. This is the Wet n Wild Always Naked palette. This one is absolutely phenomenal. I picked this up, I want to say last year, around the middle of last year. I use this thing continuously. First of all, it is a absolutely gorgeous neutral neutral palette. Uh, so it's not super cool, but it's not super warm either. There are shades in here that can help it lean just a little bit warmer or a little bit cooler. But I love the mixture of both mattes and shimmers you get in here. There is a ton of really gorgeous blending shades. Uh, the shimmers in here are stunning. Super, super reflective. They're, oh, they're just pretty. They're just pretty. They go on and they catch the light in such a really beautiful way. Uh, the mattes are super, super easy to work with. Uh, velvety and blendable beautifully pigmented as well. I also really love that you get a pressed glitter in here. This pressed glitter is super, super pretty, very easy to work with. You don't need a glitter glue with it. Uh, you just kind of tap it onto the eye and it does exactly what you want it to do. This is a gorgeous palette. On top of that, it is $8. $8 is like, it's a steal especially for the quality and the amount of uh, versatility you get in here. You absolutely cannot beat it. Uh, there's so, And there's so many different textures. So you have this one, which is a little bit more chunky, a little bit more uh, flaky and reflective. But then you have these metallics that are super smooth and just really, really gorgeous. They kind of glide onto the eye. They look so, so gorgeous. Like, that looks like an eyeshadow that should cost 10 times as much uh, as this palette does. It's just, it is absolutely phenomenal. It blows my mind uh, that Wet n Wild can come out with a palette that is this, uh, this quality uh, and charges eight bucks for it. Makes me think about some of those other palettes that are like a hundred dollar eyeshadow palette. What for? And then last but not least, because I've got to throw some color in my life, I've got to have some color. Any of the Profusion 10 pan palettes are to die for. These again go for six dollars a piece. They have them in a million and one different colorways. Uh, everything from rainbow to neon to pastel to green to blue to orange. These are fantastic. Uh, I picked this one in particular because I love green eyeshadow uh, and this green palette is just fantastic. You get lots of great depth in here. Uh, these mattes are absolutely stunning. They just go on and do everything that you want a good matte to do. Uh, the metallics in here are really, really pretty. Let's swatch this one, see if we can get a good swatch going on. Yeah, super, super pretty. Also, you get a duochrome in this palette. So this is the shade Galaxy, and it is kind of like a, a duochromatic green, red, brown kind of situation. Super, super uh, dimensional. But again, it's got a great amount of like that satiny sheen to it. They don't enhance lid texture. They're easy to use. You don't have to use any kind of glitter glue, uh, anything like that. Very, very small, uh, little to none uh, when it comes to fallout. These are fantastic. And again, for $6 a piece, you cannot beat it. Guys, that is everything that I would repurchase instantly if I woke up tomorrow and my uh, in my collection, my makeup collection was gone. Uh, but after I had a heart attack, I would get dressed and I would run to the store and I would pick up everything in this video. I hope that this video was helpful in some small way. As always, I will post everything that I talked about in the description box below, along with the links to all, all my other uh, socials. If you're not following me everywhere, why not? I post fun content every single day. And if you're following me everywhere, you don't have to worry about missing a single moment of it. Guys, as always, no filters, no edits, no fancy lighting. It's just me sitting in front of my camera, playing with some makeup, hoping you guys are enjoying what I'm doing. And until next time, stay safe, take care of yourselves. And remember, you're important. Bye.